In Service Desk, there are two methods to selling a retail part across the counter. This video will focus on the basic counter sale. Service Desk's point of sale form is found by navigating to work in progress on the menu and then selecting the finished forms interface or by using the shortcut Alt F4. Once the finished form interface opens, you must select the POS or point of sale radio button. Service Desk then requires the initials of the staff member creating the sale to be entered. This will load the finished form with the date, the user's name, and counter sale as the customer. We are now ready to sell a part to the customer. The finished form document will allow you to sell items that are not found within Service Desk's inventory system. You will just need to type a quantity, a description of what is being sold, and a price. In this example, we are selling a candy bar. To sell items that are in your Service Desk inventory, you will need to confirm what location you are selling inventory items from. This box opens when you enter the part number field. After entering a part, the inventory item turns yellow because we indicated we are pulling the item from a location. If we right click on the part description box, we can deselect or reselect the item to pull from inventory. This allows us to select a different inventory location if needed. Based on how your system is set up, Service Desk will add tax if necessary to the sale. The pink buttons at the bottom of the form are actions that can be taken in the finished form document. Each of these actions can be triggered individually by clicking on the action button. However, you can check the box found within each pink button to have them execute in proper order when you select the green execute sale button. When we initiate any of the actions, Service Desk generates a unique invoice number for the counter sale. The invoice number has a dash in front of it. This distinguishes a jobless counter sale from a standard searchable invoice number. A normal invoice number can be searched in the job records file. A counter sale invoice can only be loaded into the finished forms interface because there is no job record to be loaded or searched for. To complete the action of marking an item as sold in our inventory system, we need to click the pink Execute Line Items button. This action confirms that we want to mark this inventory item as sold to this invoice. Service Desk will then properly account for the part in our records. After receiving funds from the customer, you will select the green Execute Sale button. This will open the sales journal form completed with the information found in the point of sale ticket. This includes the person responsible for the sale and the amount of the sale. The system will default to a pay code 1 if you have collected funds from the customer before executing the sale. When the sale is entered, you may enter your initials again in the invoice field and the system will load a new blank point of sale form so that you are ready to ring up the next customer. This concludes this video on executing a basic counter sale. Thank you for watching.